folks, this is Estella. What you talking about? This is Miko. This is a uh, second part of graphing linear equations using the graphing method. All right, so tell whether the ordered pair is a solution to the system. Okay, so here's um, uh, one example. So you're going to plug in this 5 for x and this 2 for y into both equations. And if it's yes on both of them, then the answer is yes. So here we go. Going to plug it into the first equation. And so this uh, 2 times 5 is 10, minus 3 times 2 is 6. 10 minus 6 does equal 4. Okay, try the second one. 2 times 5 right here, 2 times 5, 8 times uh, 2. And uh, 10 plus 16 does not equal 11, so the answer is a big fat no. Okay, uh, let's see. I want to make sure the volume's up, you guys, before I'm wasting my time here. Uh-oh, I wonder I left it down. Oh, good, we're good, okay. Um, okay, so number two, plug in the same thing. I'm going to plug in uh, negative 3, 1, okay? So plug it into the first equation, and yes, that does uh, check off. Plug uh, negative 3, 1 into the second equation, and negative um, 3 plus 5 does equal 2, so the answer is yes, okay? Okay, solve the linear systems by the graphing method, and then check your solutions. Okay, here's the first one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to graph this one in red and this one in blue. And where these lines intersect, that's the answer. All right, so I'm going to do the, the intercept method. So when x equals 0, it gets rid of this x. And so we're left with y equals negative 2. Okay, so there it is right there, y equals negative 2. And then when y equals 0, x is going to equal negative 2. So there it is right there. Connect them up. That's that line. Okay, do the same thing with the blue guy. When x equals 0, y equals 6, so there it is way up there. And then when y equals 0, negative x equals 6, so x would be negative 6. So there it is over there, okay? And those two points looks like to me uh, they are intersecting right there at uh, negative 4, comma 2. Okay, here's the next one. Okay, uh, again, I'm going to do the top line in red and the bottom line in blue. This time, though, I'm going to solve that top equation for... Uh, y. So I'm going to go ahead and, and plus 9x to both sides, and then so those cancel. So I'm left with 6y equals um, 9x minus 6. Then I'm going to divide everything by 6, and the 6 is cancel. And then um, same over here, the 6 is cancel. And 3 goes into 9 three times, and 3 goes into 6 uh, two times. So this is just left with y over here equals 3 halves x. And then this is just 1 right here. So y equals 3 halves x minus 1. Okay, this is in slope-intercept form. I'm going to go ahead and graph this minus 1 first. This is my y-intercept, where it intersects the y-axis down here. So it's intersecting it at negative 1, so I'm going to put a point right there. Okay, boom. I did that, and I changed it to a black negative 1, so you can see it's this black point right there. All right, so the next point, I'm going to go from here. Attention Oops, students, I'm at school, you guys. report to room 69 immediately. Sorry. So I'm going to go up 3 to the right 2 from here. So up 3. 1, 2, 3 to the right 2. I'm at school, so when I'm in during break. I'm trying to get this done to save some time after school so I can get out of here on time. Okay, so there's that line right there. Up 3 to the right 2. Okay, now the blue line, I'm going to do the intercept method again. I think it's easier. Okay, so when I let x be 0, I have negative 3y equals 8. So y is going to be a negative 8 thirds. All right, and for graphing purposes, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, divide 3 into 8 over here. 3 goes into 8 two times, and 3 times 2 is 6, and so we subtract and we get negative 2. Remember how to write these, change them to mixed numbers. We start at the top and go clockwise, so it's going to be 2 and 2 thirds, okay? Except it's negative. Don't forget it's negative, so it's going to be a negative 2 and 2 thirds. So for graphing purposes, it's going to be 0, comma, negative 2 and 2 thirds. Okay, so there's negative 2. Negative 3 would be right there. So negative 2 and 2 thirds is going to be somewhere right around there. Okay, just a brief, just an estimate on that. So something like that. Okay, now when y is 0, get rid of the 3y. You're left with 2x equals 8. Well, that's easy. 2 goes into 8 four times. Okay, connect up those blue guys. Now it looks like to me these guys are intersecting over here. Go to the left 2. Looks like down 4 right there. So negative 2, negative 4. All right. And it looks like I'm at the end of my slides there.